Hey guys, welcome back to week five. This is Ranger Georgie here with U.S. Fish and Wildlife from Laguna at the Esposa National Wildlife Refuge in partnership with the city of Brownsville. So today we're gonna be going over some species in nature. We got quite a bit of information that we're gonna run down. Um, we live in the Rio Grande Valley and we're extremely lucky. We have such a diverse ecosystem that it really allows for plenty of mammals, amphibians, birds, just literally almost everything. Tons of plant life, beautiful vegetation. Um, just in the uh, Rio Grande Valley, we have 56 mammals, seven of which are introduced for uh, an invasive species. We have 50 reptiles, 24 amphibians, and over 500 species of birds. Approximately 1,200 different plant life occur here in the Rio Grande Valley. So what is a mammal? A mammal is a warm-blooded vertebrate animal of a class that is distinguished by the possession of hair or fur. The giving of the milk to the young for nourishment after birth and as well as they typically birth a live young. So that's what a mammal is. Good examples of mammals that can be found in the Rio Grande Valley are uh, one that everybody knows, a possum. The correct name is for, for it is a Virginia opossum. Here as well you have the nine-banded armadillo, the feral hog, which is an invasive species, uh, collared peccary, which I know is a javelina and the majority of the Rio Grande Valley knows it as a javelina. Um, you have eastern cottontails, the Mexican ground squirrels, and then our pride and joy, at least at Laguna, the ocelot. We have so many feline species. You get bobcat, mountain lion, uh, jaguar undies, um, just plenty of different beautiful stuff. We have nilgai antelope, also an invasive species, as well as beautiful white-tailed deer. So what is a reptile? A reptile is a vertebrate animal of a class that includes snakes, lizards, crocodiles, turtles, and tortoises. They're distinguished by having a dry, scaly skin, typically laying soft-shelled eggs on land. Uh, some good examples of those that can be found around the Rio Grande Valley are the American alligator, the red ear sliders, you got the Texas uh, spiny soft-shell, uh, Texas tortoise, you have the prairie race runner, the western diamondback rattlesnake, the Texas indigo snake, you get the uh, Texas coral, the Mexican milk snakes, we got plenty of beautiful snakes here in the Rio Grande Valley and as well as the uh, infamous Texas horn lizard. Very awesome lizard, guys. So the next species we're gonna cover is amphibians. What is an amphibian? An amphibian wow. is a cold-blooded vertebrate animal of a class that is composed of frogs, uh, toads, newts, and salamanders. They're distinguished by having aquatic gills during their larva stage, and then in the adult stage, they breed the so It's pretty cool. Uh, some good examples of those uh, that can be found here in the Rio Grande Valley are the uh, black spotted newt, the uh, Gulf Coast toad, the Rio Grande, uh, the Rio Grande leopard frog, the Rio Grande chirping frog, red spotted toad, the Texas toad, uh, the bullfrog, and the uh, Mexican burrowing toad. And there's plenty more. So the next pieces we're gonna cover is birds. Now we did already go over birds in some of our previous weeks. If you want to, go in and reference back to those videos to get more in-depth information. But uh, what is a bird? So a bird is very simple. Um, it has feathers and it can fly, typically. Um, very simple, nothing needs to go into depth for that one. Everybody knows what a bird is. Some of the beautiful birds that can be found here in the Rio Grande Valley that stay year round, our locals, are gonna be uh, such as the Green Jay, the Altamira Oreo, the Autobahn's Oreo, the uh, Apromato Falcon, Roseate Spoonbill, uh, Green King Fisher, Common Farafi. There's just beautiful birds that we have here, guys. And if you do want more information, please, as I said, reference back to the week five. So the last thing we're going to cover is plant life. Now the reason why we saved that for last, we're going to touch on it just a little bit. There's just so many plants that we have here in the Rio Grande Valley. We're very lucky to live in such a diverse ecosystem that we get everything from desert to hill terrain to just plains. I mean it is real beautiful. So just to name a few plants that we have, we have the Montezuma Cypress, the Palo Blanco, Chimorte, Mexican Olive Tree, Sable Palms, uh, Honey Mesquite. Prickly pear cactus, musache, yucca, which are also known as Spanish dagger. You got Texas ebony, uh, Rio Grande ash, coral bean, prairie milkweed, which is great for the monarch butterflies, uh, turf's cap, and just really just so much more. Now, back in the olden days, the Rio Grande Valley was 100% thorn scrub, mesquite forest, and it was beautiful, stunning, and great for wildlife. Since then, right now, we have about 95% of that has already been taken over by urbanization and agriculture, which, yes, we do need. We are living here. We need resource for the farming. 5% left is, that's all that's left, guys. Part of that is composed of 
refuge, the state-owned property, county-owned property. So we really need to do our part to protect and plant natural plants if we can. Guys, if you need more information, go to reference our website. We have plenty of information there, whether you're looking for more bird species, more reptiles, more mammals, or even the plants. That way you can plant native plants in your backyard. Go ahead and reference our website. Plenty of good information there for you guys. So stay tuned for the remaining of the week where we're going to have our hike as well as a Q&A with Dr. Hillary Schwartz. See you guys next time.